MMA Boxing Talk here. This video is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be my UFC St. Louis predictions. Um, and then the second part is going to be fight news, things that have happened recently in the world of sports combat. So I'll jump right into it. UFC St. Louis tomorrow night. It's one of the rare UFC Sunday night cards, which I don't really mind. I work part-time, so I have to work every other weekend. A lot of times, I get a, I get Monday off, you know, so it's nice. It works out good for me. I get Monday off. Um, so I'll get right into it. Real quickly, though, Uriah Hall had to pull out from the contest against Vitor Belfort, so that fight is scrapped. Um, Johnson versus Elkins is bumped up to the main card, which is, you know, it's nice the UFC has that that op that um, luxury because Johnson Elkins is a great fight, you know. So that's really going to help that main card now. So Jeremy Stevens versus Duho Choi is the main event. Great fight, fans delight. Um, I mean, this is going to be fireworks galore. Stevens throws everything with vicious intent. Um, throws. 110% on every shot. Duho Choi is a is a sharp shooter. You know, he's very, very precise with his with his straight right hand. He throws it down like a piston, right down the pipe. Uh, very, very accurate with it. But he's very traditional. I don't know. Um, I think Jeremy Stevens is going to win this fight. His last fight, he was usually utilizing leg kicks. Um which really, really messed his opponent up, and there's a good chance he really won that fight because of the leg kicks. I mean, Gilbert Melendez couldn't even stand on on his own two feet, practically. So, um, if Stevens implements the leg kicks, and you know, Duho Troy gets hit a lot, so I have a feeling Stevens is going to take this one. Paige Van Zant in the co-main event, I see her winning uh, and beating Jessica Rose Clark. Who has a record of eight and four? Um, Paige Van Zant has just fought against a very high level of opposition compared to Rose Clark, in my opinion. So, I mean, despite Van Zant, you know, losing to Michelle Waterson, Rose Namajunas, and Tisha Torres, those are all three, um, you know, top contenders in, in at flyweight or uh, at strawweight. Michelle Waterson, not so much anymore, but. She's been in there with some quality opposition. I feel that Van Zant and her her team kind of picked this fight. They rejected the Jessica I fight to take this fight. So we'll see. Um, I, I think this will be a, a, a an easy win for Van Zant. The next fight really looking forward to is Kamara Usman versus Emil Meek. Great fight for for welterweight um, Usman. Is a very very dangerous guy. He's got a lot of power in his hands, but he also has uh, great great wrestling. Meek, you know, he wasn't that impressive in his, his UFC debut. I think he won a split decision. Um, I think it's gonna be a tough night for Meek. I'm going with Usman unanimous decision. And then I got Michael Johnson beating Darren Elkins. Uh, Elkins. Might be on a five-fight win streak, but I think Johnson's athleticism, his speed, his he's got better technique as well when it comes to striking. I just see him overwhelming uh, Elkins, and I, I have a feeling he's going to stop Elkins in, in the later rounds, second or third round. Um, so those are my picks. Stevens, Van Zant, Usman, Johnson. Now I want to talk about some fight news. Um, it just came out this morning. Robert Whitaker is out of UFC 221, which really disappoints me. Robert Whitaker was going to defend his title in his hometown of Australia against Luke Rockhold, but he has an injury, so he, he can't go through with the fight. Yoel Romero is going to take his spot. Um, so it's going to be Romero versus Rockhold for the interim title. The winner's going to fight Whitaker whenever he's ready. Um, it's still a great fight. Romero-Rockhold, it's going to be an awesome fight. 
but I, I really was looking forward to Whitaker Rockhold. Um, but regardless, this is definitely worthy of an interim title. Um, so no complaints there. It's still going to be a great fight. Whitaker's one of my favorite fighters. That's why I'm really disappointed. But, like I said, still going to be a great fight. Now, recently, there's been some big, big fight announcements the last three, four days. Um, some of them aren't fully official, but they're going to happen. Uh, the first one, 100% official, Holloway versus Frankie Edgar, March 3rd. Can't wait for that fight. It's supposed to happen this past December. Frankie had a facial fracture, um, so Aldo stepped in. Holloway versus Edgar, great, great matchup. Also, Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz. Luis King Kong Ortiz versus Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Huge fight. It was supposed to happen last November. Um, but now it's happening December 3rd, same night as Holloway Edgar. Also that same month, we have Anthony Joshua taking on Joseph Parker. Um, that's for three belts. You know, you're going to have Joshua's IBF and WBA along with Parker's WBO. The winner will have three of the four championship titles. Wilder versus Ortiz are fighting for the, the fourth championship title, the WBC. The word is, since Wilder and Joshua are both fighting in the same month, the winners are going to face each other, which more than likely will be Wilder and Joshua. Um, having said that, though, Luis Ortiz could very well ruin that party and defeat Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has really not been tested. He's been a, he's been cherry picked his, his opponents the whole way through. Um, Ortiz is an old man, though he's an older guy, but he'll still be the best opponent Wilder's face. When he gets in the ring on March 3rd. That's an interesting fight. Um, also, Canelo versus Triple G rematch is set for May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Can't wait for that rematch. The first fight was phenomenal. It's also on YouTube, HBO's YouTube page. Um, I don't think it's 100% official, but it's pretty well a done deal. Canelo, Triple G, May 5th. Joshua Parker, I don't think is 100% official, but Parker has accepted the terms that Joshua and his camp put out there, so it's going to happen. Um, and also, Terrence Bud Crawford is going to fight Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn has agreed to his terms. So Crawford moving up to 147, dropping all his four or five belts, at 140, he was the undisputed champion. He's now moving up to 147, the glamour division in boxing at the moment. There's the most stars are at 147. Terrence Bud Crawford, one of the pound for pound best, is going to test his medal at this new division. Jeff Horn, you know, recently defeated Manny Pacquiao in a controversial fight. Um, it wasn't a robbery. Horn definitely did enough to win. He might have been dirty, but. He's a big guy in there. He's very aggressive, borderline on the on the edge. He fights on the edge. Crawford, Horn, it's going to be great. This will be Crawford's title, I believe, and it would be his third division. I think he has titles at 135 and 140. This would be 147. Don't quote me on that, but I'll have to look into that. And also, next weekend, next Saturday, one week away exactly, huge night in the world of combat sports. You got UFC 220, Stipe versus Nganu. Check out my preview video for that. I put it out a few days back for, for Stipe and Nganu. Um, my official prediction will come out probably right after the weigh-ins. Earl Spence Jr., the IBF welterweight champion is taking on Lamont Peterson in his first title defense. That's a huge fight. Uh, Earl Spence Jr., one of the best welterweights in the world. I was just talking in boxing that welterweight division is the glamour division. If Spence, you know, continues to win, 
He could possibly fight Terrence Crawford in the future, which would be insane. But he's got a tough test against Lamont Peterson. He th This is by no means a tune-up fight for Earl Spence. Lamont Peterson is legit. He's a big welterweight. He's got great footwork, great movement. This guy is a, is a well-put-together boxer. Um, but I do think Earl Spence will get the victory. And also, Bellator 192 is taking place next Saturday. Um, you got Chael Sonnen versus Rampage Jackson, which is the first fight of the heavyweight Bellator Grand Prix, the tournament that's taking place all of 2018 and probably into 2019. Uh, this is the first fight of that tournament. So Sonnen versus Rampage. Also, a title fight, Douglas Lima versus Rory McDonald for the welterweight championship of Bellator. Going to be a great fight. And a couple other fights on that main card. You got um, Michael Chandler fighting. I can't remember who he's fighting, but Michael Chandler's fighting. Uh, his first fight back since losing the title to um, Brent Primus in, in a weird fluky injury that he, he sustained in the during the fight. Um, but a fight's a fight, and he lost fair and square, but... He's going to try to redeem himself. And also, the phenom, the young 21-year-old phenom, Aaron Pico, is going to have his third pro fight all next Saturday. So there's lots to look forward to next weekend. That's it for this one, though. Let me know if you liked the video. Definitely subscribe. Comment in the comments below what you think of this video, who you're picking for UFC St. Louis. That's it for this one. Peace.